Dividing fractions. To divide fractions, you need to flip one of your fractions upside down and change your division sign to multiply before multiplying your top row straight across and your bottom row straight across. So you're going to flip your first fraction upside down, change your division sign to multiply, and then multiply straight across the top, your numerators together, and straight across the bottom, your denominators together. This will give you a new fraction, which is your answer. Let's work through an example together. 2 quarters divided by 1 sixth. First, we're going to flip our first fraction upside down. So we're going to change 2 over 4 to become 4 over 2. So we've flipped it upside down. We're then going to change our division sign from divide to times. We're going to multiply instead of divide. What we're going to do now is we're going to multiply our top row or our numerators together straight across the top. 4 times 1 is 4. We're going to do our bottom row. 2 times 6 is 12. And this gives you a new fraction, which is the answer to your division problem. Let's work through another problem together. We've got 1 half divided by 2 sixth. First, we're going to flip our 1 half upside down, and we're actually going to rewrite our problem into a new equation. So 1 half flipped upside down becomes 2 over 1. We're going to change our division sign to multiply, and we're going to rewrite our other fraction just as it is. Now we have a multiply fraction problem. We're multiplying across the top 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And across our bottom, our denominators, 1 times 6 is 6. Let's do another one. We're going to flip our 2 over 10 upside down and rewrite it. So 2 over 10 becomes 10 over 2. We're going to change our division sign to multiply. And we're going to rewrite our other fraction as it was before, 3 over 5. We're going to multiply straight across the top. 10 times 3 gives us 30 and 2 times 5 gives us 10. So our answer to our division problem is 30 over 10. And we can simplify this further. How many times does 10 go into 30? It goes in 3 times. So our answer is 3 holes.